friends. I'm very happy to welcome you all to this talk by Chandrika on the eve of Gandhi Jayanti. It was uh, almost exactly a year ago that uh, the Observer Research Foundation, Mumbai, started its activities from this, this office. I don't know how many of uh, you were present for the talk we organized on that day by Sri Anupam Mishra, <coughs> a very widely respected Gandhian, an activist of Gandhi Peace Foundation, New Delhi. He gave a talk on uh, traditional methods of water conservation. As some of you know, you know he's he's an author of he's author of uh, uh, a book that uh, is considered one of the best books uh, on this subject anywhere in the world. It was written in Hindi, but translated uh, in many languages. Abhi bhi khade hai talab. Uh, you have to really read the f book, friends, to know how uh, a Gandhian was inspired to explore the traditional wisdom of uh, water conservation and how it is relevant to our times. So with that inspiration, we started work in this office and uh, very quickly we have completed one year and we want to share our happiness with all of you and uh, we want to thank you for uh, making this journey of one year a very fruitful, very satisfying journey. So we are marking the first anniversary here with uh, a talk again by a very eminent scholar, although she doesn't like to be called a scholar. And not eminent either. Of course, eminent. <laughs> that we are here to judge you. <laughs> and that's uh, very obvious from uh, the book that she has written, Friends, Atma Siddhi. In Search of the Soul. It's a book by Srimad Rajchandraji, Gandhiji's spiritual guru. It's not, although it says translated by Chandrika, it's not pure translation. It is what I would say translation with uh, Bhashya, with her interpretation and her explanation with many uh, stories, a uh, highly, highly readable book. We have kept that book for uh, some of you to have a look and if you wish to buy, it's available. A few words about uh, the speaker today. Uh, Chandrika is uh, up now a part of the ORF family in two ways. She is associated with uh, ORF Center for the Study of Indian Knowledge Traditions. Uh, giving us ideas and uh, and also participating in executing some of those ideas and she's associated with us in another way through her husband Bhaskar, Arhin Bhaskar, a very distinguished journalist who is now an advisor at uh, Observer Research Foundation. Where is Bhaskar? Oh, Bhaskar, please. <laughs> yes. So, we are very happy to have you here you. and I am delighted to welcome Sri Arun Mehtaji at this function. Arun Mehtaji is associated with uh, a very distinguished publishing house, Wakils and Sons, the publisher of this book as well as another book by Chandrika 
which is uh, Bhaja Govindam by Shankaracharya. Again, a highly readable book. Friends, uh, you know, he's very reluctant to introduce himself, uh, but uh, I can't tell you how happy I am that we have Arunji Mehta gracing the occasion today because he is associated through his family both with Mahatma Gandhi and Srimad Rajchandraji. Many of you have visited Mani Bhavan, uh, the place uh, that was Gandhiji's residence in Mumbai wherever, whenever he was here. Mani Bhavan was built by Reva Shankar Javeri, his uh, uh, great-granduncle, who was also a business partner and a spiritual partner with uh, Srimad Raj Chandraji. You know, as some of you know, and uh, Chandrika will tell us more about, it, more about this, Srimad Raj Chandraji was a very unique man. He was a spiritual person, but he was also a jeweler, a businessman. And uh, Arunji tells, tells me that uh, Reva Shankar Mehta and Srimad Raj Chandraji uh, had a, a jewelry shop in Kalba Devi. And Mani Bhavan was named after Manilal, Mahatma Gandhi's son. Second son? Reva Shankar's son. Reva, huh? Reva Shankar, but Mani Lal was also Gandhi. Gandhiji's son. Um, and Reva Shankarji's brother was another very important man in Mahatma Gandhi's life, Dr. Pranjivan Mehta. Pranjivan Mehta is a person, he was a benefactor of Mahatma Gandhi. He's the one who made the establishment of Sabarmati Ashram in Ahmedabad possible with his very generous donation when Gandhiji came back from South Africa. More importantly, friends, those of you who have read Hind Swaraj, Gandhiji's uh, very important book, and 2010 is the centenary of the publication of uh, Hind Swaraj. Hind Swaraj is a very uh, a unique book it's Gandhiji wrote this on his way back from uh, London to Durban on a voyage. A very inspired book. It's, he wrote this to explain his philosophy in the form of a conversation between a reader and editor. And this entire conversation in some ways was inspired by the long conversation that he had had with Pranjivan Mehta in London. So Pranjivan Mehta occupies uh, a unique place in Gandhiji's life and we are happy to have here a person who belongs to the family of Pranjivan Mehta, who belongs to the family of Reva Shankar Mehta or Reva Shankar Javeri and who continues, more importantly, who continues to serve the cause of uh, Gandhi's philosophy through his own work, including through publishing. So, thank you very much, Arunji, for coming today. Friends, I was talking to Chandrika a little before this uh, event and uh, she, she said, is, many people ask, is Gandhiji still relevant? Now, let me answer this by recalling a conversation I had just this afternoon with uh, Sri Somaya, you know, who heads the Sarvoday, Bombay Sarvoday Mandal at Grant Road. Some of you have seen the, uh, the bookshop that sells Sarvodai literature, Gandhian literature there. I invited him to attend today's uh, function. The very devoted Gandhian. He said, uh, I would have 
much like to come, but you know, tomorrow is Gandhi Jayanti, and I can't tell you how much demand there is for Gandhiji's literature. The demand is increasing year after year after year. And we can't meet the demand, especially when it comes to Gandhi Jayanti. So that answers, friends, in a small way, the question, is Gandhiji still relevant? There is a, a deep hunger for knowing more about this uh, incredibly unique person in modern history. A person who was relevant to Einstein and who is relevant to Obama and to tens of thousands of other important people from different walks of life around the world. Friends, uh, we have organized today's function in partnership with uh, Times Foundation. We are grateful for this partnership and uh, the representative from the Times Foundation uh, she is expected here anytime, Rema Mohan. With these uh, introductory words, friends, I invite Chandrika to deliver her talk, but not before informing you that in the month of October, which is the month of Gandhi Jayanti, we will have one more, one more function, one more talk on Mahatma Gandhi and that will be my, by me. Uh, um, I have uh, almost completed uh, an essay on Gandhiji in the context of today's science and technology. A lot of, a lot of people think that Gandhi was anti-science and opposed to technology, he was opposed to modernization. I have explored this question in the form of a long essay. Uh, so sometime during the month of uh, October, uh, you will have an occasion to listen to my thoughts on this. Thank you very much for coming and uh, let's welcome Chandrika to begin her talk.